today I'm gonna to teach you how to edit the paper mixed media animation effect inside of After Effects in one click. So shout out to Fred Pelle today for this one. He just dropped his brand new MXM2 plugin. So they had this plugin before, which was able to create these insane mixed media effects, as you can see. And now they just released the second update to this. And from what I've heard and seen, this one is pretty insane. So a lot of these effects I actually haven't even tested yet. So this is like really my true authentic reaction. So I have some footage right here that I shot of KDOT. We got some text animations, some very basic, like looks kind of trash right now, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to window, we hit extensions and then open MXM2. By the way, the plugin is linked down below. So it takes you to this page right here and then you just basically select like which composition you wanna use. So I'm gonna select my one called KDOT and then I hit launch and watch this. Wow, instantly. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my gosh, bro, come on. Tell me this is not crazy. So what I did basically to enhance this a little bit more is I added, obviously there's a gradient on this text. On the us text, I added a, a Gaussian like blur to this to make it blend a little bit more. Um, I didn't actually do that for the not text. So what's cool about this is if I don't like it, I can just come back to my comp and then let me just add a Gaussian blur right here as well. So I'm gonna, incre I'm gonna crank that up. Okay, so that's looking really blurry right now. But when we come back to our MXM comp, yo, that is insane. It looks like it's like actually baked into the footage. And we have all these crazy textures as well. So that's just one look. There's like a bunch of different looks in here. So the cool thing is I can uh, I can click on whatever settings I want if I wanna change the color, like the way it interacts with everything. They have this one, sun fade, they have pastel, which is crazy. Like, by the way, I'm glancing over all of these. Like, these could all be effects that I'm like, oh, this is, this is a final effect. No glaze. <laughs> it's taking a while to render out because it's uh, super high quality. I'm gonna put the quality in third just so I can like kind of get a feel and play it out. But as you can see, it already comes with a super sick wiggle animation. And this looks really professional for, I mean, the fact that I just made this in literally a click. Okay, so let's try something else. We have another comp clip over here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to, of course, select our composition. Uh, so we're gonna click SZA and then voila, look at this. This looks so incredible. There's this cool feature I saw where it's the cuts features. You click on the cuts right here and instantly it creates a bunch of different like overlay styles of your actual effect. And the cool thing about it is that it is changing like the position and resizing your actual footage itself. So it doesn't look like it's just standard overlay on top of it. It's actually interacting with the footage and it makes it really easy to create the, uh, the mixed media effect, but also automated, which is, this is just super cool, super effective. And you can see on the overlay over here of what exactly it's doing to the footage. So there's different style overlays. You can change like the, uh, the format if you want these like little three boxes in the corner over here. And look at that, it's like pulling out certain details of the shot and then putting it into different areas. So this is, this is just super sick, honestly. This one over here does circles. It's honestly like, a, like its own art form, but the fact that it's just like automated, this is so fucking sick, man. And then you can change the borders. Wow, wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, there's chess. I don't know what, what are all these settings, dude? What? Oh, you can do Lego, Lego pieces on the side, I guess? Chess borders. Oh, it's like uh, the pattern, the dot patterns. Okay, I see. Because uh, over here in the corner, it's, it's creating a chess checkerboard. Oh, wow, cool, cool, cool. And then what is this? Mixed media, like paper, just standard paper, edge rips. Wow, circles, more circles. Okay, this one. Yeah, this is, dude, I honestly, I could go on forever and just be like amazed at, at what it's creating. Let me try, dude, wait, let me go back to my other footage over here. Maybe, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some text real quick, just so I can see what it looks like. Create some quick mock-ups. I wonder what it'll do when we have some text on it. Why does Gaussian Blur exist if legacy is just better? So as you can see, what I'm doing right here is I just created some very, very simple rough like text animations and then I added some colors uh, to it just to like make it look cool. And then if we bring it back over here to the mixed media comp, boom, voila, this looks insane. This looks like we just designed like a graphic tee, but inside of After Effects on, and on top of that, animated. Oh my goodness, bro. Okay, enough glaze, enough glaze. Let's go back here. Uh, let's mess around with some of the colors because there's still a lot more we didn't get to touch on yet. Um, I want to set the colors to something like this. This looks cool. This looks like it'd be on a t-shirt, right? Yo. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so fun. I would have so much fun with this after this tutorial. Let me go back over here. Uh, let's try overlays. Okay, so there's scribbles. You can add scribble animations on this. Wow. Look at this, look at this. Okay, we got some scribble animations just like popping up. It's super random and like very niche. Let me try and change this to uh, 
screen. Yeah, screen. If we do this a screen, then that looks cool because we got some like little text animations that just pop up around here. It just, it just makes it look really high effort. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's, that's looking insane. Let me also just scale down the text over here. I love how, how easily editable this is. It's not at all destructive because in like regular projects, you know, if you mess up and things are kind of like locked in place, but as you can see, those words were a little bit too big. So I just scaled them down and then boom, instantly it's reformatted. And if you don't like something, you can just go back and undo it. So for cuts over here, I'm really kind of not liking this dash one. Or I will do like, just we'll just do some rips and then, let me send it to this one, layout four. Layout, layout four is looking really cool. I like the like popping out of different aspects of it. Look at that, so, so realistic, wow. And then there's another cool thing too over here is you can actually increase the resolution. So if you're like, I want a higher quality, you can just, click on it and you can go up to like 5x I think which is super cool I think it's actually just increasing like the clarity or texture of it but if you don't want that either you can just turn it down let's set it to one that looks super cool okay now we have this part done what are all these textures okay so you can change the texture of it you can make the texture harder you can make the resolution and these are just knobs to do the same thing we can also do spray paint as well so there's some spray paint I love this like can animation and you can change the color it has its own slider over here and you can of course change the texture of the spray paint. This is crazy. And then I'm assuming this kind of like sprays onto the video, what this looks like. Oh, you can also make this half tone. This is insane. Yeah, okay, okay. One other cool feature about this is that if you like a certain like look that you made, you're like, oh dang, this look is really cool. I wanna re reuse this and claim this as my style. You can actually save this as a preset for your MXM and it comes in a .MXM file and then you'll save it in your motion graphics template. And let's call this like EP um, underscore MXM2. And as a bonus, if you like this look, I'll send you this preset that I made completely for free link. So you can check out this plugin and get this free preset too. And then I just hit save. And now I can just go ahead and reapply that template whenever I want. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys would use this, if this is something that you know you would see useful to your workflow. Still, I'm just like absolutely loving the texture and the way it just messes with all the colors and stuff. But yeah, let me know what you think. I've linked to everything down below. Hope you guys found this video useful. And if you wanna learn how to automatically edit your music videos in one click using AI, you can check out this video linked right here.